Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a custom basic site H image that includes drivers that support the last network devices. It will also include drivers that will support USB to Ethernet adapters. So if you are interested in this subject, follow me for the steps. So the first step here is we need to create a VMware Customer Connect account. So we need to go to this website. And after that, we need to click on register so that we create uh, an account. And we need to fill the form with our details. And we click register. So now that the account is created, we need to log in into uh, our space. We enter our details to connect. So after that, we need to go to product account. We click on all products. And we need to select VMware vSphere. So we we'll click on view download components. And after that, we click on download free trial. So in this screen, we need to register for the for the license and uh, to be able to get the the, the VSTXI original image. So click on register. So here we need to fill this form with our details. So after filling the form and clicking on start uh, free trial, so we come back to this screen and here we can see that now we have the ability to download the USXI offline bundle. So we need this zip file to create the custom image. So click on manually download. Let's create a folder in our Windows system and let's call it OSXIH. Like that. And let's copy the, the, the bundle image that we got from, uh, from the website. Let's copy it into this folder. Okay, so now the next step is to uh, to get the, the no expiration license from VMware Customer Connect account. So to get the no expiration license, we need to go to this URL. And, and here we'll go ahead directly to, uh, to the bottom. You will find this URL. Uh, with the, the p parameter equal to free OSXI H. So we'll use this URL to get the license. So if we click on this URL, we'll head directly to this web page and here we'll find the license. So one thing to note here is that this URL is different from this one. As you can see here, the parameter is vSphere eval H. And here the parameter is free A6IH. So now, uh, as we got the license uh, from the VMware Customer Connect account, the next step is to download the drivers that are needed to create the custom image. So as I said in the beginning, we need two kinds of drivers. So the first drivers will let us support uh, uh, a large set of network devices that exist in the market. And the second set of drivers will let us support USB to Ethernet adapters. So to do that, we need to go to this website. So flanks.vmware.com. And here we need to search for a network. So here, what we need is uh, these two type of drivers. So the first one is USB network native driver for A6i. And the second one is uh, 
is community networking driver for ASXI. So here we need to choose the, the correct version that, that support ASXI 8. So if we go to a change log, we'll see that for the version uh, ASXI 8 update one. So this we use this version actually in this tutorial. So we need to use this this zip file. So we click here, we accept the technical preview license and we get the zip file that we need. So for the version H update one. The same thing we'll do in this uh, in the, for the community networking driver for SXI. So we'll accept and do download. So now we copy the two zip file into our folder ASXIH. We'll give to, to the folder. We we'll copy the two uh, zip files. So here we see the net community driver and the USB adapter driver. Now for the next step, we need to install Python 3.7.9. We'll go to uh, search for that so uh, we go to the python website and download the, the installer for windows let's install python so we click on the executable file and we activate to add python to the path so that you can use it from uh, terminal and we click install now so now the next step is to up, upgrade the pipe. So pipe is a package manager for Python. So we need to upgrade it to be able to use it later with the power client from the VMware. So to upgrade pipe, we need to execute the following command. Now we need to execute this command that lets us execute remote signed script into our PowerShell terminal. So we'll execute it. And now we'll, we'll install the Power Client module that will let us create custom image. As you can see here, I specified the, the required version. You need to pay attention about the version because uh, we need to see if the version is compatible with the ASXIH or whatever version that we want to manipulate. So in this case, the ASXIH is compatible with, with this version. Okay, now uh, the next step is to, to import the image builder module. So now we'll go to our folder ASXIH. So here we have our zip files. So uh, as a reminder, so we have uh, the zip file of the the VMware ASXIH bundle. We have the two zip file for our drivers. So the next step is to um, to add the 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 ASXI image to the to the to the depot of the current session of uh, image builder, so we execute this command. So here we can use this command to verify that the image was added to the session. Yeah, as you can see here, we have the image. Now the next step is to create the custom image. So we do that with this command. So here we specify the, the Chrome profile. So here we specify the, the image that was imported into the session. And 
we specify the name of the custom image that we want to create and the vendor, so VMware. So now the custom image is created. Now we'll add the, the, the drivers to the custom image. So for that, first we need to add the driver zip file to the, to the current session. So for the first driver, net community driver. And also for the second driver, so for uh, Ethernet ESB adapter, it's added to the current session. And now the next step is to add the, the drivers to the custom image. So for that, we use this command. So here we specify the image profile, so our custom image and the software package, next community. The same thing for the second driver. So USB Ethernet adapter. So to, to know exactly what the name that we need to use in software package, as you can see here, we use this name and also this one. If you want to know the name that you need to use after importing the, the packages into the session, so use get. So in this way, you will get all the packages that you have in this session. And here, what you can see is we have uh, the two packages that we installed, so niche community and, uh, and the ESB generous adapter, so this one. Here it is. The next step is we need to, to change the acceptance level of our custom image. So for that, we need to execute this command. Because um, before I execute this command, I will show you why we need to execute it. So if, if we execute uh, the get image profile command, What we can see here is that the custom image is, is partner supported as acceptance level. But because we added the drivers that are community drivers, we need to change the acceptance level so that we can uh, create the image. So to do that, we need to execute this command. So here we change the acceptance level to community. And as you can see here, the acceptance level changed for this custom image. So now the, the final step is to create the custom image. So for that, we execute this command. So here we specify the image profile. So we specify this parameter to say that we need to export as ISO and the file patch of the exported. So uh, I will export it into desktop. 